Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby and I am a homeschooling mom of four kids and I love to share what we're loving in our homeschool. I call this series Homeschooling Favorites and every few months I just share the things that we have found or enjoyed or purchased um, that has benefited us in our homeschool journey here. And so today I am sharing my end of the school year homeschooling favorites. So the things that we have enjoyed for the past couple of months here rounding out the school year. So if this is something that you're interested in and you like favorites videos, give this video a thumbs up and stick around. Today's video is in partnership with the Heritage Letter. My kids and I receive the Heritage Letter as well as the American Heritage Adventure Letter every single month. And this is something that we just enjoy so much in our home. So with the Heritage Letter, you'll receive a letter written from the perspective of an American legend surrounding the events of his or her life and his or her contribution to American history. You'll also receive a photo and a fact card, as well as an artifact such as a picture or artwork or a map or a quote related to the American hero, heroine, or legend. So some examples would be explorers, leaders, statesmen, pioneers, inventors, scientists, doctors, and the list goes on and on. Something else that Julie, who by the way is a homeschooling mom, has also written and sends out every month is the American Heritage Adventure Letter. So with this letter, you can explore America with a unique letter subscription that delivers a new adventure to your mailbox every month. So in each letter, you'll receive a double-sided letter written from Lizzie Jane as she explores America one stop at a time, featuring hand-drawn original artwork and lettering. And these are so beautiful and captivating. These letters are so fun. We hang them up in our schoolroom every month and they're just so enjoyable. As well as a souvenir postcard featuring artwork from the letter that you can keep for yourself or mail to a friend. Now, the American Heritage Adventure letter has really inspired us. It's added places to our travel bucket list, different places in America that we really want to go see. It's really inspired us so much. And they are coming up on one year of sending out American Heritage Adventure letters. So one winner is actually going to receive every single letter from all 12 months that these have been sent out. So every single retired American Heritage Adventure letter, one winner is going to receive those. So if you are interested, you can enter in the description box down below. Thank you so much, Julie, for sponsoring today's video. And thank you so much for offering this fun giveaway to a subscriber. Good luck, you guys. Okay, so the first couple of favorites I don't actually have physically to show you, so I will throw a picture in here somewhere. The first favorite are these grow kits. My mom got these for my kids for Easter, and they were perfect for our Peter Rabbit unit study and just some other fun, you know, science stuff that we've been doing and um, nature study stuff we've been doing. So I held on to them for a couple of weeks and the perfect time came up to use them. So we got the Grow Sunflowers kit and the Grow Pizza kit. So the pizza kit had like all the different herbs and spices for pizza and the sunflower kit had six different types of sunflowers there are some really fun ones online though and so these are super cute there's so many fun options online i thought it would be great to share as a summer idea for those of you who don't live where plants get scorched like they do here in the summer we're kind of past our new planting season here in south florida basically you can only grow okra here right now because everything else will just die from the heat but um i wanted to share that with you guys first of all because i thought that would be a really fun summer project for some of you the second thing that has been a favorite the last couple of months here in our homeschool and just even like a date night favorite for john and i is the docu series is it a doc no it's a it's a recreation it's not like an actual documentary um it's called America, the story of us. And if you like history, or even if you don't like history, but you are teaching history or you're in a certain time frame in American history, you have to watch this. One of my girlfriends told me about it and I am hooked. It goes through the major events in American history. So my husband and I started back from the beginning, but for my kids, I showed them the Dust Bowl and Great Depression episode, and then also the World War II episode and they loved it as well it was really great visual for them um, and so if you are looking for some documentaries or good movie ideas this summer as well or just a way to like tie a bow on a history unit that's a great idea 
I call it documentary season. I've texted my girlfriends here and there. I'm like, it's documentary season here and I'll send a picture of my kids watching TV. The end of the school year is just like, I really start digging for some educational ideas and it is a lot of documentaries and movies like that. So if you're where I'm at with that, you'll probably really enjoy having that as an option. I think it might only be on Prime though. I'm not sure. So it's a Prime TV thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, or at least that's where we watched it. So second favorite is America, the story of us. Speaking of different seasons at the end of the school year, we're in snack season. We're like, everybody wants snacks more than they want to do schoolwork and coming up on summer where I just get like eaten out of house and home with my kids. So I've brought back the easy lunch boxes. This is something that we used to do for years and I actually had to purchase new ones because our old ones just got warped over time. But these are so great for snacky kids. So we, when I'm packing up dinner at the end of the night, putting everything away, I'll just pull these out and just chop up a couple bits of fruit or veggies, put some crackers or carby things in here. And this is a great thing for my kids to go. I keep it in our garage fridge. So they'll go out there and grab it um, and pull it in, you know, wherever they're doing their schoolwork because it's the end of the school year and we are like hanging on by a thread. So everyone's kind of spread around the house working on some individual things they're trying to wrap up. So they'll grab this. They know they don't have to ask permission. As soon as they finish breakfast, they can get at this. I don't care. It's got healthy options in it, but this helps hold us over through the days where we're just trying to get things done. So I'll usually do two fruits, one veggie, and then one like carby snacky thing. So like whole wheat goldfish or wheat thins and then strawberries and a mixture of like blueberries and blackberries or um, dates with peanut butter are really good and then some cucumbers or carrots or something some chopped bell pepper um, and then they can eat this without having to ask like for a snack or permission for a special snack or something this is a sanity saver for me i actually have eight of these i think some of these are mixed from different there's like a neon set and then a regular color set um but john and i use these as well and i'll pack them for us the night before as well and it's helpful for me because i'm like a i'll just have another coffee if i'm hungry sometimes to hold me over so i like having some like good fiber and uh, fruits and veggies to snack on as well and like I said, I just pull the containers out and as I'm putting dinner away, I'll pull some berries out and chop them up and put some stuff in there. And then everything just goes back in the fridge and we're good to go. So that is helpful for the end of the school year and it's also helpful for summer. So I will link those in my Amazon store down below. These, I actually showed these to you a couple months ago in a book haul. These are the Usborne Graphic Legend. Are they all called gra Graphic Classics? Um, so graphic legends and graphic classics, but I had these in a box for a couple of months before I found space on my shelf for them. And as soon as I pulled them out, the kids have been reading these, like they're just like obsessively reading them. They're switching them around. I'm finding them in their rooms. They're not putting them back on the shelf, but these are just graphic novels. They're fun, you know, comic book style recreations of uh, classics. So there's the Odyssey, the Wizard of Oz, I'll show you inside of them. And what I like about these, it's not that it's a, um, a replacement for the classic books, but it's a fun way for them to kind of get an overview or an interest in the story before it's something that we may read in our homeschool. So Odyssey, Wizard of Oz, Robin Hood, there is the Norse Myths, Adventures of Thor, Alice in Wonderland, Dracula, The Three Musketeers, um, Jason and the Argonauts, Macbeth, and let's see, Hamlet, Graphic Shakespeare, yeah, that's really cool, um, Hound of Baskerville, Sherlock Holmes, yeah, gra Graphic Classics, and King Arthur. So um, those are just really fun. And we actually had a couple of these in the past, but they were given away or borrowed and I just lose books all the time because I just lend them out and then I totally forget about them. So um, those are great also for summer reading. If you have some reluctant readers who might be interested in something that's a little more fun like that, but I have been really impressed with how much all three of my older kids have enjoyed reading those. I mean, Eli has them in his bed and he is just reading constantly. Um, speaking of books, I only have one more book to show you today, and it is this Beatrix Potter nursery rhyme book. 
I am always looking for new books to bring in for poetry tea time for my younger kids to keep their interest. And so this is super cute. We were doing a Peter Rabbit study four or five in a row. And so I pulled this out or I purchased this um, to have a special Peter Rabbit tea time. And I'm keeping it on the shelf with the rest of our poetry books just because I think it's fun to have stuff that like Annabeth, who's my four-year-old, I can sprinkle in some of this with our Emily Dickinson um, or with our more classic poetry books to keep her interest. So that was a fun one as well. I love nursery rhymes. I think they're super cute and super fun. Um, and then speaking of tea time, this has been my kids' favorite tea time tea lately. It's the Tazo Iced Passion Herbal Tea. It makes six pitchers. It is um, each bag makes one full pitcher and it's iced tea. So it's uh, hibiscus, orange peel, rose hip, and passion fruit. It's caffeine free and we've used this for the last three tea times and my kids have like seconds and thirds before I cut them off, but they love it. And it's not very often that I find a kind of tea that all of my kids enjoy. Most often I just let them get into the tea drawer and pick one of their own and then I'll just pour the hot water. But this is great because I can make up one big pitcher of it at a time and everybody likes it. And it's really hot and so we don't do a lot of hot tea in the summer. We do a lot of iced teas and lemonades and fruit punch tea times in our fancy teacups. Um, so this makes it an official tea time still. Um, okay. This is so fun. This game from Modern Classic Homeschool on Etsy. I found this from one of my friends. She shared about it online. And I purchased a bundle that was ocean animals, birds, and insects. So I just printed out the ocean animals one today to prepare for summer, but I have used the insects one. We haven't used the bugs or the um, birds one yet. But these are, and I printed them on cardstock, these are replacement cards for a Guess Who game. And you can find Guess Who for like less than $10 online or at the store, I'm sure. But we had an old Guess Who game. And it comes with these larger cards. You print them yourself, but it comes with these larger cards from, that you can pull from a draw pile. And then it has these replacement cards to put in the guess who game instead of the people. So I think it's just such a fun way to extend a nature study unit or to turn guess who into a more educational game or a unit themed game. And so, like I said, I have birds, insects, and uh, sea anim or ocean animals, but she actually has a few others on her Etsy shop as well. So I will link that below. But I just thought that um, this ocean one would be really fun for summer. So I'm gonna have to go through and pull all of the insect ones out and replace it. I'll do a couple more games here because you guys love games as much as I do. So match a leaf and pick a flower. I got these for my kids in their stockings, but we actually didn't use them until March, I believe, uh, or March for this April for pick a flower. And my kids really love these games. We also have match a track and we have a pair of birds. These are fun educational games. And Annabeth also really likes this, even though she can't read it. So pick or match a leaf is, um, it, they're memory matching games, but basically, let me see if I can find a couple of matches here. Okay, here, this is perfect, yay. Okay, we, put, we kind of put it away right on top here. So instead of being identical pictures that they're matching, they're matching, this one is the leaf with the tree. So you have, is this, yeah, scotch pine, and then it has its, name underneath of it, scientific name. And then it also comes with this pamphlet and it tells you about each of the trees. And so I think a lot of you guys saw when I did my host co-op with me video, which I will link up here, I we were doing wildflowers. And so we did this pick a flower game and the pick a flower game is, it will match um, the flower with, with how it can be used or where it can be famously viewed or seen. Um, I think there was sunflowers, had a, a Van Gogh picture with it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find a perfect um, match for this. So let me, give me a second. Hold please, I'll edit, I'll edit through this. Okay, I found a match. So you have lilac, you have the actual flower here, and then you have some information about the flower. So this would be the match 
would be these two pictures. And then if you look here, it says lilac is um, native to the Balkan Peninsula. Lilac is a member of the olive family. It has a relatively short flowering season at the beginning of the summer and is available in white cream. The flower. flower was traditionally used to line coffins to mask the odor of rotting bodies. This association with death gave rise to the old superstition that it is unlucky to bring lilac so into just the house. little tidbits of information. Um, as they're playing the game, but I just like a memory game that's a little more challenging to where it's not exact an exact match. I thought that was kind of a fun spin on it, and so both of these games have consistently been out on our school table. Uh, next, I have Pop for Addition and Subtraction. I like these learning resources games. They have Pop, like a popcorn one that's Pop for letters, and they have Pop for sight words, and all sorts of different variations of this. But this one has been out lately for Eli and I to practice his quick math, um, because he is actually getting ready to move on to multiplication, so I wanted to just spend the last couple of weeks of school solidifying his um, addition and subtraction and so this is really simple the way you play you spin the spinner it tells you how many gumballs to draw out um, the way that he and I play there's a couple different ways to make it more challenging so then you pull he say you got three you pull three gumballs out and then you have to um, answer these correctly and for him and I it's like kind of like answer quickly but then as you're going through and collecting these gumballs every now and then you will come across, of course I won't come across any of it now. Really. One day maybe I'll be a more formal YouTuber, but until then you guys are just gonna have to like multitask while you watch my videos because there are quite a few intermissions here. So here, so as you pull them out, sometimes you'll come across this pop, and that just means that you have to put all of the gumballs back that you have already pulled out and then you put that pop off to the side so that there's less of a chance of pulling it out next time but it's really fun and he and i really enjoy it and i think it would be also another great summer learning game to continue to work on early math skills um, and to beat the summer slide so next and i oh no i have two more things to show you I'll show you this first. I'm super excited about this. I got this on Amazon. It wasn't Prime, but I'm sure I could have found it somewhere else, but I was just on Amazon when I was looking for it. I love this punctuation poster. I cannot wait to hang it up in our schoolroom next year, so I wanted to share it with you guys in case you're getting ready to do a schoolroom overhaul as well, um, like I always do in the summer. And then last but not least, I love Young, Wild, and Friedman subscription for Annabeth. She's gone in and out with different interest levels with it. She's always excited the first week it comes, but then sometimes she's not so excited as the month goes on. But right now, we have so many of them because we've been members of this subscription service for like, I guess, close to a year. Um, September, I think, is when we began. So... So yeah, in three months, it will have been that we've received 12 of these boxes. So we have like what i don't know nine of them <laughs> we have so many of them that she alternates through them and i keep them out on our school shelf now but this month's was super cute it was a circus themed container and so it comes with these three different dough jars which all smell really good and it's kind of a surprise every month if you're a subscription member you don't know what you get billed before you know what it's going to be but we have not been disappointed yet um, and then it comes with some different sensory items. So there's little gems, and this one had some pom poms and some little, I don't know what all that is. Um, and then some cute little um, themed beads there, and then some little play mats. And then this one specifically had a cookie cutter some balloons, and then all sorts of these little wooden figures. There are about eight of them in here. And so she and I have been playing circus together in the mornings. It's like the thing when I have my coffee right now, she brings this bin out. But we have had some really cute themed bins. We had a flower garden one last month. Oh my goodness, that was probably my favorite. And what's really cool about these moms of like older and younger kids right now is that 
These come with me everywhere we go. We'll pick one of them when we go to one of the kids' lessons. So it comes with us to violin lesson, and I can sit with her and quietly play with that. It comes with us to the dance studio. She has to come with me to one of my um, older kids' dance or karate classes, and it's a screen-free option, and it's portable, which I love. The dough doesn't stain, although, like, don't take my word for it. If you're going to play it on a carpet, it's going to get stuck, but... Um, I just like that they're everything's in here. These containers are super cool. The jars they come in keep the dough fresh for a really long time. They used to come saran wrapped, but now they come in those cute little jars and we still have ours from January that still works fine. And I just, I love having this as an option for her. And I also love being members of the subscription because then every month we're getting a different one. And so we can go back to one from just a couple months ago and it's like totally fresh to her. Not sponsored, don't work with her, but I just really have enjoyed that for Annabeth and it's been a great way for she and I to connect when I only have a couple minutes between kids' subjects. I'll just grab one of those containers and be like, wanna play with your garden kit? And we'll just sit down and play together. Um, and so for this season of life where I'm ending the school year with older ones, really trying to stay consistent so we can finish up, and I just don't wanna neglect time with her, this has been a godsend and really helpful to pull out right now um, in this season of our school year. Okay, I guess that was the last thing. Yes, because I already showed you this. So those are my homeschooling favorites for the end of our school year. I will be back with some more homeschooling favorites probably in July or August. Like I said, I will link all of this stuff down below. Let me know what you guys are loving in your homeschool right now. And thank you so much, Heritage Letter and American Heritage Adventure for partnering with me on today's video. Good luck, you guys, if you are entering. And I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.